Hi, Creative Crafts here and I'm Kathy. Today I'm going to show you how to make a braided rug out of old clothes. I suggest that you should use the same kind of materials. Don't mix and match like jean, jean material or t-shirt material. Don't mix and match because jeans are thicker and when you braid it and when you put it together, sew it or glue it, I'm going to use the glue gun, make it easier. You just use any colors. This is actually really an old t-shirt. A bunch of old t-shirts that I had so many of them. I'll show you how to cut it. You get the old t-shirt. See, and this one's really old. It's pretty much faded. Flatten it out. Flatten it out really well here. And I would cut it right just under the arm right across like this and all you have left is this you can take this and use it for something else and then you take the shirt to make it easier to cut cut it about two fingers length you can use three or two and a half it's all up to you how thick you want it and just Cut it across and make a strip like this. You know, like this. What I did is I want to make my strips, like I said, about two. If you want three, you can do a three. Cut across, doesn't have to be even. That's my second part. Now what you do is you find the seam and you cut the seam. You don't have to cut it off, but I suggest that you cut it off. It would, wouldn't be so bulky. Do the second one. And cut it off. Then I would take these two pieces and glue them together to make one big piece. So go like this with the glue gun. Let's see where this one is. So before it dries, do it quickly. You can fix all this later. Flatten it out. Be careful. The glue is very hot. You can burn your fingers really well. And then Put it aside like I did here. I glued several together, you know, to make one big piece. I want to make mine black, red, and white. It's actually all the colors I will only use anyway. So let me cut this end off. It's the part where it was sewn together. So and now you can glue these together. It doesn't matter how big it is, because in the end you're gonna it's gonna end up folding up small like this anyway, because it's a t-shirt. So I'll put all these together. So like here, you see this? I'm gluing it together. Take the other piece. Be careful, like I said, it's hot. If you want, you can always fold it in and wait for it to dry. Don't work with it when it's too wet because then it sticks to everything. I put, I use my salt lamp. You need to put the material underneath something so you can. Um, Use a clothespin on a hanger if you're outside, and then you start braiding. Make a pretty tight braid. And you braid all these together, as many as, how big as you want, it, or how many t-shirts you have. Um, I just, I just decided to clean out my closets and I said, you know what, 
I don't want to throw all this away. Some of them have stains. I used them when I was painting. So I said, you know what, I'm just going to cut them up and make a beautiful rug out of it for my dog. It's my little baby, Jackson. Just fold it as much as you can. So right now I'm going to hold it, I'm going to move it up so I can show you further. I'm hoping that you can see what I'm doing. This is what I'm doing right now. A lot of these things you will not see, like these parts here. Once it's together, you will not see it. Try not to do it too tight. Like I said, fold that in. Later on you will not see that. And just keep going until you get it as big as you want. I'm just doing this right now. It's actually going to look really good like this. As you can see what I did here. You do this as, as to as how big you want the rug. So I have a lot of material so I have to keep coming back like this. Some of the t-shirts are shorter than the others so I have to add more material to it. And just keep adding it until as big as you want. And then when you're done braiding the entire material that you need for the rug, together. This is much easier. So I suggest that we go like this so it's the same. See how it's kind of like like this? This is what you should do like this. Wait till it dries because I don't want to pull it and then it'll fall out. an old dress. As you can see here, I'm just going to cut right across. I won't have to glue anything together on this one. So just make sure you got it even when you're cutting it. Another tip, see these ends? You need to cut that off too. Very important that you cut this off. This dress is a beautiful dress, but uh, I got grease stains on it from a barbecue. Didn't realize that the meat that I was eating was too oily, which I don't like too much either, but it's okay. So had a great time. I don't know about you, 
but I cannot stand when I see videos with just music and people are not explaining to you exactly things that you need to do. Yeah, they have titles, subtitles there. You shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that, this is what you should do. But sometimes people rather hear. I'd rather hear someone explaining things to me than me reading it myself. So I'm done braiding all the material. This is only t-shirts. Altogether, I braided 30 meters. And that makes a good size rug, especially for my dog. I'm gonna start with first white. I don't wanna do it this way, because it makes the rug thinner. It's, um, you really can't see the braids, so it's better if you do it flat-wise. So I would start with just a little bit. And then go like this. And then roll it. Try not to use too much glue. You don't really need much. It, it, the glue sticks to the material so well. And then just keep going around. Just be careful that you don't burn your fingers. And take your time doing it. Don't rush it because if you rush it, you're not going to get it the way you want it. So, like I said, very little bit. Go around. So, my size rug, when we're done, you'll see how much um, braided material would need. This is what I have here, is 30 meters, like I said it before. And you can use more, make it bigger, but I think this is a perfect size. When you cut the material, what I do is I cut the arm off and then I cut this off and I try to use all of this material. What I do is I cut it longwise. Like I said before, two fingers or more if you want. Don't go more than two, less than two or more than three. That then is too much. Also, here, this end, anything here like this, cut it off. Same goes for this here. Cut it off. I didn't do it with this one so I can show you what I'm talking about. This rug is just for my dog so he can be comfy. So, and I didn't want to waste any material. You want, you can use this part too, but you probably get maybe one strip out of it because you need to cut this off too, like I said. This stuff you need to cut off. So that's two strip, one strip here on the arm and then it goes around. Cut it any way you want, like I said. But this big part, I all I did is cut off this first and then I made the stripes so I get two pieces in one and then I cut that off. I glued everything all together Instead of sewing, you can sew it if you don't want to use a glue gun or if you don't have a glue gun. But I like my glue gun.
So as you can see how far it came so far. Make sure you work on a flat surface. I put the glue right at the rim on the side. Don't want to put it in the middle. And then try to just glue it together so that you won't see any glue on the other side. If there is, if you get some excess glue on the other side, you can always take a small little scissors or a knife and cut it off. You have to make sure that you... Or you can just sew it. You can do that too. I decided to use the glue gun. Glue gun is my friend. I use it for everything. And then you twist. Like I said, make sure it's flat and not like this. You can see how the different it is. Not like this. I a flat so you can see the braids that you did. And do it like this. top of here it actually makes the rug uh, slip proof it shouldn't slip around so easily if someone walks on it or if a dog runs and it just shouldn't move so much I have um, ceramic floors and my dog is always slipping everywhere so now it's all done I glued it all together it looks great for an end what I have want to do is so it doesn't slide all over the floor you take the glue start from one end and make a line all the way down and stop do this through the whole rug and the rug should not go all over the place if you have a ceramic floor like I have So the rug is now done. As you can see here, where I put the glue on the bottom part, that helps prevent slipping. And now this is what it looks like. I think it came out real good. Like I said, you can use, you can sew it if you want, but I preferred the glue. It's quicker and it works just as good. 
You can still put it in the wash machine. It shouldn't fall apart as long as you don't put it on double hot water. Put it on lukewarm or something like that. It should, it should hold. That's it. This is our rug. Thank you for watching my video. Please comment or add questions below. And please subscribe.